Very interesting. Do you also help out with helping your customers ask the right questions? So it sounds like you've developed these databases. I can totally understand why these would be helpful. So information, natural language about approved and failed projects in their area, about permits and zoning in their area, about social media posts in their area, suggesting the kind of sentiment around solar projects. But then I also suspect that as you develop more and more specialization in this, there's probably some kinds of questions that you see as being typical or typically important for your customers. Uh, when picking out a, a property or? Yeah, exactly. So when somebody's, when a customer of yours is thinking about a particular solar project in a particular area, I'm guessing that the service that you offer is more than just saying, hey, we've trained this large language model, or we can do rag over these documents that are relevant to developing solar power projects in your area. Yep. But I suspect that more than just providing that kind of tool, there's probably some level of providing them with guidance on what kinds of questions they should be asking the tool. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, let me, so we're not um, doing a Q and a rag, like we're not having them question the data um, because we know what, we know what they mean out of that. Uh, and, and, yeah, and that's a note that, yeah, not all users want that. Um, and certainly not in this industry, right there. They, this is an industry that's newer to AI. So I need to actually <laughs> give them. Uh, so uh, they're getting a report. Yeah. Uh, they're getting a, for sure. Yeah. And then I we do have on our roadmap, should we add a Q&A chatbot here? You know, that's a question we need to kind of see if customers are even asking for. But um, yeah, initial V1 is, is that report. I got you. So right now for this initial V1, a customer comes to Flypower, comes to you and says, I want to build roughly in this region. You know, I know that there's a demand for new energy roughly in this area what neighborhood specifically or what plots of land should I be looking at potentially acquiring for my solar power project? And then you can create reports. Yeah, literally like picture Zillow. Um, so you type in a, a Preble County, Ohio, for instance, and Preble County, maybe we've ranked it as an orange, like uh, they've had a lot of issues. Um, but here's a town that's 200 miles away that's a, you know, a, a green or a yellow. By the way, Ohio has all sorts of, <laughs> and they might all be like yellow um, there. But anyway, um, being able to provide kind of a heat map of like, here's what, what rating we're giving the area you're looking at, but here are some other areas that might be more amenable to solar, looking at community sentiment, but looking at environmental impacts, looking at cost of energy in the area. Um, it might be really expensive that, you know, they might have a really high electric bill or, or maybe they're subject to kind of the pollution of, of a, you know, a, a, what is it called? Typical energy plant um, is, is what uh, others call it. Like they, so having green energy in the area, there's, there's more than one way to motivate um, the, the local residents to, to actually want it versus uh, fighting it. Gotcha. 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 Okay, cool. So you actually have built at Flypower a, a tool that allows somebody to maybe self-service, go over different regions within a given state and be able to see using, so you're, you're aggregating multiple different kinds of factors using some proprietary blend that you've probably developed using your experience to mine these kinds of documents like approved and failed projects, like permits, zoning, social media information, laws, and you're able to combine all of that into some kind of overall proprietary score that gives a heat map by region of red places, places you don't probably yeah. want to try right. to, to have a climate project and yellow and then places where there's green, where you're like, this seems like a great spot to try. Yeah, no, for sure. And then we're summarizing that, right? So if someone can read through and then they can click into the links of like, where do we get this information, right? No, from my experience, no one tr wants to trust the AI and they, they shouldn't, right? They should go to make sure that what we're saying is, is accurate. And so so we show our work, um, we show um, reference to, you know, each source where we got this information from. And um, from a UI perspective, there are some like n nice ways you can do that to make it kind of digestible. Um, so you don't, it's not, it's easy to, to understand. You only click on it if you need it. Very nice. I love it. This makes perfect sense. So, so the generative, the generative AI tools are being used in a pretty fully automatic way behind the scenes to populate these reports, to 
bring back references so that people can dig deeper themselves. That all sounds really cool, really helpful. Do you have a sense? I know it's relatively early days for UF Fly Power. Do you have some sense of how these uh, these tools, maybe specifically your tool, are reducing that 70% project failure rate? We, we are early on. We're looking for our first pilot customer. So that's where we are on, on the, our path. Um, uh, we are seeing really strong interest, though, in this. Um, no one's doing this. Um, it's just, yeah, no one's applying this community sentiment piece to this. Um, interestingly, on the permitting side, um, there I, we have just as many customers interested in that. And so we're a little bit at a crossroads, like how do we, do we go, <laughs> which one do we do first? And it, it'll honestly be that first pilot customer who, you know, who's ready to, to, to go in, down that path with us is, is probably going to be the decision maker. Makes perfect sense. I mean, at the time of recording, your company was founded a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. uh, to have a product built and that you can be selling, I think is amazing to be already at that point, to be looking for those pilot customers. And yeah, hopefully things like this podcast are helpful for finding those initial first customers. I look forward to seeing how the journey comes along. Awesome, Navdeep. This is really inspiring. I love what you're doing with Flypower. 